More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warn that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone, and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. So, what's going to happen if Antarctica keeps melting? Here's a few answers. Will California soon be underwater? Researchers are warning that melting ice shelves in Antarctica could cause sea levels to rise higher than expected, with the changes being most apparent in California. Scientists theorize that due to the Earth's rotation and gravitational pull, melting ice in Antarctica, particularly in the western portion, is pulled toward the California coast. This makes rising sea levels more dramatic in the region. For every foot of global sea level rise caused by the melting West Antarctic, sea levels will rise approximately 1.25 feet on the California coast. In 2100, sea levels could rise as high as 6.9 feet in San Francisco and 7.1 feet in La Jolla. The California Ocean Protection Council plans to hold a series of workshops and propose measures to address this issue. British Research Station in Antarctica skis its way to safety. The British Antarctic Survey has completed the relocation of its Holly Research Station in Antarctica, some 14 miles inland. The Holly 6 Research Station was moved after one of the two chasms in the area became active in 2013, and a new crack was discovered on the Brunt Ice Shelf in October last year. The research station had to be moved 14 miles to a new site for safety. The hydraulic legs allow the station to be raised and lowered, while the skis on the bottom of the legs allow the station to be transported easily. The modules were hauled individually to the new site where they were reassembled. The research center will be closed due to safety considerations, and all staff at the station are currently being evacuated in stages. The station will be reopened in November 2017. These penguins might be wiped out because of an iceberg. A giant glacier is wiping out an entire colony of penguins. Short of it being destroyed or moving elsewhere, there's not much that can be done to save the birds. In 2010, the Rhode Island-sized iceberg B09B became grounded near a colony of Adelie penguins in East Antarctica. The iceberg blocked the penguins' access to the sea and their access to food. To find food, the flightless birds had to make an 80-mile round-trip journey in harsh Antarctic weather. Because of this hazardous trek, the colony's population has withered over 90% from 160,000 to 10,000 now. In research published in the journal Antarctic Science, scientists say the colony could be wiped out unless the iceberg moves elsewhere or the sea ice breaks up. Adelie penguins have lived and bred in the area for more than a century. Do you think humans should try to save them? Or should we let nature take its course and see what happens? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The melting of Greenland and Antarctica is changing the Earth's rotation. New research suggests that the melting of the ice sheets is shifting the location of the Earth's spin axis, meaning the North and South Poles are moving. As ice melts in Greenland and Antarctica, the geographic North and South Poles are migrating. This is because the mass of the planet is being redistributed, similar to what happens when a twirling skater 
extends or retracts arms or a leg. The poles head towards where mass is being reduced. For example, if Greenland is the only region that is losing mass, then the North Pole will move towards it. In addition to the melting of the ice sheets, changing patterns in water storage on the continents also affect the direction of the polar motion. It is estimated that 40% of polar movement is affected by the loss of ice mass in Greenland and 25% due to the loss of ice mass in Antarctica. Another 25% is influenced by changes in water storage on the continents. Up until 2000, the North Pole was moving slowly towards Canada at a speed of around 8 centimetres per year. Now the North Pole is moving towards the UK and Europe at a speed of up to 18 centimetres per year. The study does not directly attribute the shift in polar movement to human-caused climate change. However, it suggests global warming is a significant factor in melting polar ice mass and smaller glaciers around the world.